fastest animal in the world is? Ostrich. A couple people know. We got some good guesses besides. I have that animal here with me. It's always awkward if I ask you, but I don't know. Well, I'm going to introduce you to the fastest living thing on Earth, a very wet Leia, the peregrine falcon, everybody. <laughs> now, if you're thinking something like a cheetah, I want you to think that's dumb. That is a good guess. A cheetah's the fastest land animal. They go about 60 miles per hour on solid ground, but peregrine falcons are capable of going speeds well over 200 miles per hour. Die. They're definitely the fastest living thing out there. And one reason why they can go so quickly are the super pointed wings that you can see on Leia here. We've got a rare opportunity. She's hanging them out for us and she is soaking wet, so she's trying to dry those off. She's not stressed out or anything. She is totally calm. She just wants to dry herself off. Now, if you think that might remind you of something like our aircraft, well, you're on the right track because we've taken a lot of adaptations from these birds for our own purposes including their wing and body shape for some of the fastest planes that us humans have developed. But we've also taken the shape of their nostrils for our jet engines. Of course, that helps the plane engine to run more efficiently, but for a peregrine falcon, it helps them to breathe easier while they're flying through the sky at those extreme speeds. Here's one last thing we took from these birds, though, and that is the black lines underneath those eyes. That's not just a bold-fashioned statement. Lay is not going through a phase or something like that. This actually would help her to hunt on a bright sunny day by absorbing some of the sunlight into those black lines, keeping it from reflecting you into her eyes and blinding her. And that might be familiar if you've ever been to maybe a baseball game or a football game before, seeing the players rub some black eyeliner underneath their eyes for that exact same purpose while they're playing their sports. And they need to fly so quickly through the air. Does anybody know what they might like to hunt to eat? Anybody have any ideas? I uh, not nice. Rabbits, not deer, not snakes. Okay, we got, some, we got some good guesses here. We got the right answer. It's actually other birds, and they catch them in midair. It's really incredible to watch. They'll catch things as small as little songbirds and pigeons, up to stuff as large as waterfowl, like ducks. Peregrine falcons in the wild have a rough go of it over the years, back in the 60s and 70s. They were very much decimated in their population due to a pesticide called DDT that was weakening bird eggshells to the point that they actually couldn't hatch out of their eggs. So a lot of birds were endangered during that time. They were famously the bald eagle, but the parent was was certainly among that group. They also were very much impacted by habitat loss, which still continues to this day. So they like to nest on the sides of cliffs, which are more and more frequently giving way to sprawling urban landscapes. So nowadays, it's not uncommon at all to see these birds nesting on the sides of skyscrapers in our major cities and even under highway overpasses. That's really awesome that they're so adaptable to live in those human-modified environments. But it does get them into some trouble in the form of human-wildlife conflict, where they might come into collisions with our buildings or some of our vehicles. Now, luckily, there is still a lot of great habitat in this area, the Great Smoky Mountains. So if you like to hike and you want to try to spot one of these birds flying at those extreme speeds, head out into the park look for a place called Peregrine Peak. It's actually not too far from Dollywood. And you'll be able to hopefully spot one of these guys flying around and hunting. Like I said, it is really cool to watch whether you're in the city or out there in the mountains. You might be wondering how Leia ended up here, though. She actually got injured uh, during migration with a pretty severe beak injury, which healed to an extent, but not well enough for her to be out there in the wild. It's going to be pretty hard to see where you're sitting, but her beak's a little bit more curved in than it needs to be, so she wouldn't be able to eat on her own in the wild. In captivity, I break up any bigger bones in her diet just so that she doesn't have any trouble eating them. She's still capable of shredding apart large pieces of food that we just got to do a little bit more maintenance on her beak and some of our other birds. Uh, while she was in captivity, she actually developed a type of cancer behind her right eye. So you might have noticed she's missing an eye, and that's why it had to be removed just for her health and well-being. But she is totally fine. She's got a clean bill of health here today. And, well, she's a little bit more spoiled than the rest of our birds. We actually have a special nickname for her, Princess Leia. <laughs> she is by far my favorite bird. Don't tell the other ones. We don't need them getting nervous. Uh, we're getting uh, jealous around her, but... Uh, Boy, you do I love her, and uh, she is doing a good job for us here today. She is soaking wet, which means she's not going to be able to fly for us, unfortunately. So come on back another day, and hopefully you might see her fly. But to be honest with you, we tried to fly her yesterday, and she was scared of the audience. It's her first time trying to fly in front of people. 
dump trucks and all that stuff in the off season is fun, but new faces are apparently a little scary. So hopefully by the next time you come, we will have her flying in the shows. It's not very impressive. She may be the fastest animal in the world, but she is the slowest species, or slowest individual of that species around here. So how about a hand for our lovely Peregrine Falcon Lady, everybody? Show today. 
Oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, does anybody want to guess how much he weighs? Two pounds. Yeah. Just shout him out. Fifty pounds. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ten. Two pounds. Yeah. That's pretty close. We got a close answer over here. He weighs in at a whopping, arm-breaking five ounces. So Gimli here, in comparison, weighs as much as a baseball. So why don't we give a big round of applause for our littlest bird, Gimli.